In the field of neutron detection and measurement, there are several types of detectors that are used quite common. Let's take a look at the top five. First, we have helium-3. This detector uses the principle of ionization to detect neutrons. When a neutron collides with the nucleus of a helium-3 atom, it creates a charged particle which can then be detected and measured. This type of detector is highly sensitive and is often used in applications like nuclear power plants where accurate neutron measurements are critical. Next, we have the boron trifluoride. This detector also uses ionization to detect neutrons, but instead of using helium-3, it uses boron trifluoride gas as the, as the detecting medium. The boron-10 isotope present in the gas is a good neutron absorber, and a charged particle is created which can be detected and measured. This detector also is highly sensitive and is commonly used in nuclear facilities uh, as well as research and development of nuclear technology. Third, we have the lithium-6 scintillation detector. Uh, this detector uses the principle of scintillation where a neutron collides with the lithium-6 nucleus, causing it to emit light, which can then be detected and measured. This type of detector is highly sensitive and is often used in applications such as neutron radiography and imaging where resolution is required. Fourth, we have the boron line detector. This detector is similar to the boron trifluoride proportional counter, but instead of using the boron trifluoride gas, it uses a boron line detector tube. This detector is also highly sensitive and is often used in uh, similar applications as the boron trifluoride uh, proportional counter. Lastly, we have the domino tau neutron detector. So this is a device that uses, utilizes micro-constructed uh, micro semiconductor uh, neutron detector technology to detect thermal neutrons. The, the device uses a technology called MSND that converts lithium-6 to thermal neutrons with uh, an efficiency of about 30%. It is designed to be thin and flexible uh, with an adjustable detection area with low power consumption. But additionally, it also has digital uh, outputs capabilities that can be detected in a tau format for greater coverage. More recently, a similar reaction with lithium-6 is used for neutron detection such as CLIC and CLBC detectors. Uh, these detectors are um, used quite often and they offer both gamma spectroscopy and neutron detection, so that's always good. These detectors yield good gamma resolution and net, uh, neutron separation in the same device. Each of these detectors have their own advantages and disadvantages, and the choice depends ultimately on the specific application and the required level of conversion efficiency and neutron and gamma resolution. But with the advancements going on in technology, it is likely that new and more advanced detectors will be developed in the future. If you have any questions or if you'd like to try out any of our neutron detectors, please visit our website or give us a call.